what's going on youtube you know who it is it's your boy shrek we're back with another diesel diaries we are working on another cascadia the usuals you know cascadias this diesel diaries i believe like episode nine i'm not sure what episode this is but we're doing a brake chamber on some disc brakes as you can tell this brake chamber is leaking the way you find out what chamber is leaking or you find out if your brake chambers are leaking is by doing an applied brake test if you guys don't know how to do that and you're a driver you really need to go back to your manual and learn how to do that one the way we do it is you chalk your tires you go ahead and let your air pressure build up all the way till it purges once it purges you turn off the truck once you turn off the truck you turn the ignition back onto accessory mode so you can see all the gauges once that's done and it cycles through you go ahead and release your yellow brakes let me show you guys with this one on the inside so the way you do you chalk your wheels just so it doesn't move you turn on your truck you let it build up the air all the way till it purges let me speed it up for you guys It purged, turn it off, turn your key to accessory mode so the gauges cycle. Let's see that. There we go. Let it go through a cycle. Shows you where your air is at. You go ahead and release your brakes. We're on flat ground so it shouldn't move. Besides, your wheels should be chalked by now or chalked. And then you go ahead and hit your brake pedal. And instantly you can hear your brake chamber leaking. So. Let's go ahead and build up that air again. All right, so that's how you do an applied brake test. Now, I haven't done one on the front, a disc brake one. So I'm actually gonna be learning this with you guys. I do need to clock this brake chamber because like, as you can tell, it bolts up like this. This matches this, but then the port is on the bottom and this port's on the sides. We'll also be learning how to clock it with you guys. All right, let's get some tools ready. So 25 is a little too big. Let's see if it's a 24. 24 is perfect. And then this one for this back here. I need another one too. All right, big shout out to my boy Ray. He actually just gave me this set. It's only missing the 19, but he actually just gave me this set this past weekend. Talking about I have extra tools. We need all the tools we can get here. Shout out to Ray. I know he'd be watching these videos sometimes. So we need a seven eighths to take that fitting off. 18 to take the line off the fitting. Excuse someone, excuse the noise. Someone's working out there. Then we need a 24 to take those bolts off. I always keep this just in case. So first things first, I am going to take off the brake chamber. These bolts, they're a little hard. We have this. Sheesh, pretty, pretty hard. All right. Coming off. There we go. Just loosen up them bolts. Okay. Let's see if we can loosen up this hose. Ah, uh, it looks like it's peeled. Someone did this before and peeled it. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna need some vice grip pliers, whatever they're called, to be able to hold this in place while I turn it. All right. We 
going the wrong way? I think so. So that's it guys, take off the line, who's yelling at us, who's whistling, we ain't no dogs out here. Alright, so you take off the line, then we're going to try to loosen this fitting off, there we go. Remember how your ABS sensor line is, because you will have to put that one back on, the same way so it doesn't wrap up a whole different way. So we're gonna take off the fitting just so it's ready. <clears throat> because once we take off this chamber, it'll be a lot harder to take off the fitting. So we take off that fitting, keep that, all our wrenches. Let's go back to chamber. So I believe on a previous video, I showed you guys how to do the rear brake chamber, but that was a drum brake chamber. This is the front one, and this is a disc brake chamber, which is a lot easier in my opinion than a, than a regular drum one. Don't quote me on this, and I'm not 100% sure, but I believe you are also supposed to release these brakes, which are released. Where's the cover? There's a cover on this side. I don't know if you guys can see it. No, you're not gonna see it. It's on that side on the bottom. And then you need a little special socket for it to release them out. I didn't do that. I don't know if you are supposed to. We will find out. Like I said, this is the first one I'm doing for the front. This is the first one I'm doing on the front. And first one I'm doing on a disc brake. So if I mess something up, it will make for a good video and y'all will see it. If I don't. Thank God we are able to replace it easily. So far this is easier than the back one. Straightforward, remove part, replace them. The only part I have a feeling I will have a challenge with is on the clocking. I've never clocked one, so. So this is how it is. Put that down. All right. This is the new one. Take that off. Let's get some Teflon. Put some Teflon on this. Remember, I hope all of you guys know how to use Teflon by now. You have to do it, I believe it's against the threads. So when you put it, it doesn't slip off. Yep. Seven, eight. Here we go. So I did read, you know, I read, oh, here's the, the port or the area. This is the little special socket. You put on, I believe it's a 10 millimeter on it. And you turn this, you release your brakes, you turn it, back it out, all that good stuff. I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to. Like I've said before, this is how I do my job. So far it's been working. But let's see if we can adjust this one. All right, so that would fit perfectly. I need to maneuver this so I can tighten it up. Have it facing the way I need it. I'm gonna answer some music so you guys don't get bored with all this stuff. Hopefully our editor fast forwards all this stuff. It's just like that. All right. Just like that. Let's back it up a little bit. Never mind, we can't. All right, so instructions do say now we need to back it up a little bit. All right. So I'll put it on there just to be able to 
get some leverage and turn it. The instructions, yes, I do read instructions sometimes, do say to apply 10, pound, 10 pounds of pressure onto the chamber in order for the piston to stick out. Once it sticks out, get some vice grip pliers and hold it while you clock it. So we'll see. We'll see if that works right now. Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought to get this fitting on there. All right, not that hard, okay. Let's see if this works. Like I've said, I've never done this before. So I'm hoping it works. Praying to God that it does work the way I'm thinking it will work. Release it. See if that piston came out. No, it didn't. All right. How is that piston supposed to come out then? Let's see if that'll make it come out. You are supposed to apply 10 pounds pressure to it. No, it didn't work. So, how are we gonna do this? I think, so the piston, I just zip tied it right here so it ain't squiggling around. So the piston was actually pushed out when I released the yellow brake yellow brake one what are the parking brakes service brakes i don't know what the, what they are but i also pressed on the pedal by using this low lock small low lock i found at my local store let's leave it at that because i'm not sponsored by anyone and i'm giving y'all free publicity even if i only have 200 subbies anyways what you're supposed to do next according to the instructions make sure you don't damage this grommet and just clamp it down so what i'm going to be doing is actually let me cut a piece of cardboard so i can use that in between just to be on the safe side i'm not trying to damage anything Put this little piece oh god really gonna mess with me for a little piece work with this brake chamber all right so we will be putting this piece right in there sorry if i'm messing you guys up all right put that piece right there clamp it down let's see if this works we will be going ahead and releasing the low lock or Let's see if it worked. It worked. It's still clamped on. Let's go ahead and release this brake line. Let's do this. Like I said, I've never clocked one. This may not be the right way. This is the way we're going to be doing it today. So like I said, this goes bolted right there with the clamp facing up. There's a port that needs to be on the side. So let's see if we can do this. We use a 13 mil socket and ratchet on this side. And then we use an Allen wrench. What size? A size six Allen wrench on the bolt side, on the Allen side. So let's see, hopefully this doesn't spit at us and cause personal harm. Highly doubt it. We are trained professionals, and I'm just playing. We really ain't. Just don't tell the boss. He doesn't know. I lied on my resume. Told him I knew everything there is to know about trucks. Let's see if it turns. Nope, it ain't working. So the instructions lied to us. Actually, that is working. We're gonna need to do it this way, manpower way. Let's see if we could do it all the way. I 
looks pretty good to me. That's all we're gonna go. Oh yeah, that's it. Just the tinsy wincy. Tinsy wince. Tinsy wincy. I don't know what that word is, but just a little bit. Lined up, pretty much. Good enough for us. So go ahead and tighten this up again. That way I don't want the piston blowing up against my baby makers. So let's tighten this back up. Tighten it up. You guys remember on the rear one that I did the drum one? I didn't clock it. I didn't know how. I wasn't willing to learn how either. But on this one, I told myself we were going to learn. And I would record it just so I had it for future reference and to help anyone out there. Basically, that's how I'm doing it. So if this is correct, I release this. That will jump back in. Let's release it. yep just like that no damage to anything let's go back in perfect that's how it's supposed to be you guys remember correctly came with new hardware let's go ahead and add the new hardware all right pretty much it guys that's how you do a front disc brake chamber and that's how you clock it according to my specifications not the proper way, more than likely, but that's my way. And I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Pretty, pretty sure. Alrighty, let's tighten this side up. Go ahead and use our little extension. If we know how to use it. We sure don't know how to use this. Alright, let's tighten it as much as possible because this is, I'm pretty sure you have to torque this, but this is my torquing. These are brakes. We don't want them to fail on us. Alright. Should be in there. Jesus Christ. There we go. Alright. That is more than plenty for probably out of 55 pounds because you know I will edit that one out and that was pretty dumb okay so something like this all righty not the easiest all right guys so that's it that's the brake chamber we clocked it let's go see if it still leaks we will apply do an applied brake test again go ahead and comment share subscribe i've been getting a lot of feedback on the diesel diaries episodes which has been motivating me recently again to continue doing them I didn't think anybody would be interested in the series Diesel Diaries. I'm seeing it, it people are. So I will continue to be making them. Another thing, we will be doing videos on the Civic. I know I've been saying I will and I will and I will and I've been lagging it. Hopefully today when I get home from work, I will start cleaning it out. I will vlog that or document that so I could upload a video about that. This video should be going up maybe the day after tomorrow today is monday probably will go up on wednesday hopefully i have a video for the civic by the end of the week let's let it build up the air until it purges purged turn off your truck hit the accessory mode let your gauges sweep or cycle whichever you prefer calling it go ahead and release your yellow brakes your parking brakes and go ahead and push your service brakes and that's quietness 
it isn't leaking anymore all right guys that's it for today's video once again don't forget to comment like share subscribe let me know what else you guys want to see i appreciate the feedback so far we are now at 200 subscribers i know it ain't nothing big but that's something big to me please keep supporting i will see you guys on the next video guys peace